You are about to begin your DynaSplint instructional video, but just a note before we start. Most of the time, DynaSplint systems are a rental product, and you are responsible to return it at the end of your treatment so that you're not charged for the replacement cost of the splint. When your doctor, therapist, and DynaSplint sales consultant agree that your treatment is complete, please view the simple How to Return Your DynaSplint video located at the bottom of this page. The shipping's prepaid and your label's in the box. Now, let's get started. Welcome to DynaSplint. Congratulations and thank you for choosing us to help you restore your range of motion. We hope you find these videos helpful and easy to follow. Please refer to the labeling, tension setting, and positioning your Dynasplint consultant set for you on your initial fitting. Thank you, and we hope to stretch beyond your expectations. Completely open the front of upper arm cuff and top of forearm cuff. Lay your arm inside the unit while seated at a table. The larger struts with windows and scales should be placed on the lower arm. Align the cams with the elbow joint. In other words, the circles will be next to your elbow. Attach the DynaSplint system to the arm by feeding the front of upper arm cuff through the D-wire on the opposite side. Pull back hard and fasten the Velcro sides together. Do not adjust the back cuffs. Use the line your DynaSplint representative marked on the splint as a guide. Check alignment. The struts should line up with the midline of the arm and the cams should be centered on the joint axis. Check the cuffs for tightness. You should be able to slide a finger between the cuff and your arm. You should be inactive and relaxed while wearing the DynaSplint system. The arm should not hang down. The most comfortable position is to sleep with the upper arm supported by a pillow or sit with the arm supported so it's level with the heart. Do not block the lower arm from continuing to straighten. To remove your elbow extension DynaSplint, unfasten the top of forearm cuff and the front of upper arm cuff. Slide your arm out of the unit. Please review the tension your DynaSplint sales consultant set for you initially. In the beginning, the splint should be worn for two to four hours. Do not increase the tension until you can tolerate overnight wear. Time is the most important factor and your first goal should be six to eight hours of pain-free wear. After achieving this time goal, when you take the splint off, if you have less than one hour of stiffness, turn the tension up by one on both sides. However, if you are unable to wear the splint for a prolonged period of time, decrease the tension by a half to one full turn. During the process of regaining your range of motion, if you have any questions or concerns, contact your DynaSplint representative.